If you love retro gaming and you love playing games that were released in the 1980s or the 1990s, then you're going to like this. This is what's called the Polymega. Now, you can pre-order it now. It will ship in early 2019. And this is quite unique because it can play cartridge-based systems and CD-based systems. So this can play PlayStation 1, Sega Saturn, a TurboGrafx CD and Sega CD as well. Um, maybe missing one out there, I'll check. Um, but this can also play cartridges as well, so it can play the NES, the SNES, Genesis Mega Drive, and TurboGrafx PC Engine. And it uses a unique module system, which I'll show you just now, um, where you swap out the modules depending on which cartridge-based system that you use. Now, it's got this modern wireless controller here, and this is USB chargeable. Um, 2.4 gigahertz wireless and this is for the CD based systems this is for the Sega Saturn and the PlayStation 1 it's a modern controller and well it looks like you know most modern controllers you know if you look at um, the PlayStation 4 controller if you look at the Xbox One controller this is the style that we've been used to over the last 10 years now if I scroll down you can see what's happening here Okay, uh, rethink everything you know about classic games in your living room and say hello to Polymega, the world's first HD modular game console. HD is important here because what these systems are, what these retro gaming systems are, and let's get, you know, price out the way, these things can be expensive. The, the base unit is like $250, $260, and if you want all the, the modules, you're talking $450. If you want two controllers for each system, you're talking $600. So it is a lot of money, but... These systems uh, allow you to play original games, original cartridges and CDs on an HD TV. So you can play it on a modern television and you can have all the benefits of that with the with the, with the scaling and etc. You don't have to use all these different cables. Um, you can see here, this one is a SNES module and you can see you can play the original, uh, the, the, play with the original SNES controllers and you can uh, put in an original SNES cartridge. Street Fighter 2 Turbo there. Now, as I said, the base unit is, C is CD. The base unit, so the CD is going at the back there. And then you've got the module here for the SNES. 30 compatible systems. When they said that, I think they are basing this, as you can see, on the fact that it's rebranded in lots of different regions. So they're counting, for example, PlayStation North America as one, PlayStation Europe as one, PlayStation Japan as one. So there's three, and then there's another three. You know, Saturn, North America, Europe, Japan. So really, that's one, that's two. So really, that's 10 compatible systems if you look at it that way. Um, and then they've got NES, you know, Super NES, SNES, Famicom. Interestingly, the one thing I noticed there is they've got, you know, everything they've got, well, most of them they've got North America, PAL, Japan. North America, PAL, Japan. If you look down here, and you know, I noticed this in the, for the NES page as well, it's got North America, PAL, no Japan. For whatever reason, I don't think it supports Japanese NES games. That's the one thing I've noticed, which not a deal breaker for most people, I guess. Um, okay, just the Polymega base unit. You can play games from the CD based CD ROM based systems like the original PlayStation TurboGrafx CD through expansion element modules. You can play cartridge based systems. Okay, so the, here's another thing here. So it can play CD-based systems, it can play cartridges. They're also going to launch their own shop. Uh, the Polymega shop, launching in 2019, will carry hundreds of games you can download digitally to your system. Top quality titles starting at just $3.99 and CD games start at just $5.99. Now, at just $3.99. So this, it's important to note here that they're saying starting at... So your cartridge-based games will be $4.00. CD-based games will be $6, but that's starting at, so I don't know if that's just, you know, kind of older, non-popular games will be that price, and then, the, you know, good titles could be $10, $15, $20. I don't know. I don't know how they've got the licensing for this, um, you know, because a lot of the original gaming companies are, uh, companies are defunct, and the, the rights go to other companies who buy up the rights to those games. I suspect they've got a, a small selection of games that people can, can buy and download. Um, but... The fact that, like, you know, companies like Sega sell a lot of their games. You can see Sonic the Hedgehog in the background here. The fact that Sega released their games, you know, through the stores of Nintendo and Xbox and, and PlayStation makes me think that you're probably going to have to pay a similar price. But hopefully we will see a lot of uh, games that aren't released on those systems. We're going to see, hopefully, a lot of unique titles. Um... 
so spin up some fun. It's, it's fantastic looking at all these older catches because I had all these systems. Um, oh, I didn't have the Mega, C Mega CD, but I did have the Saturn um, and the PlayStation 1 there. Eventually I got it anyway. I didn't have it released because I went for the Saturn. So there's the controller, looks okay. Modular design. Each module comes with five preloaded games. So you'll get five NES games or five SNES games, five Genesis games. Um, you know, I, I do like the idea of these modules and, you know, that you can... I think there's USB down there, down there as well. I think it's hard to see. But you can use the original controllers and you can plug in the original cartridges. Interestingly, with the, the Genesis Mega Drive one, you can actually plug in 32X games as well. So it's not just the Mega Drive Genesis ones. You can plug in the 32X ones as well. So that's really cool that they've got support for that. So the, the last thing is the interface. And the interface looks modern. It looks pretty good. Uh, and it's something that they do need. This is something that people maybe forget about, but it is an important element of buying a retro gaming system like this. I haven't used this. But, you know, in, in, the, in the days where you can set up a, a retro pie for 50 bucks and, you can, you know, or you can just download Emulation Station onto your laptop or your computer and you can play these retro games and have a very modern interface, this kind of thing, some people might not think it's essential, but I think it is. I think you have to have a modern interface and I think it looks good. Haven't used it, but I think it looks good. Time will tell. Um, Pre-orders open now, shipping early 2019. So overall, I, I like the look of this system, but let's talk about price. So it's kind of like a mix and match thing, um, and you've got you know a few different options here. Now, when you first look at this, I was a little bit kind of like, "Whoa, look at all the different options!" But it's actually not that bad when you see it, right? So this is the base unit, two hundred and fifty dollars, and it comes with one wireless controller. So you know that this will play Sega Saturn and all that. If you want another wireless controller, it's forty dollars. So if you want two player, you would buy an extra controller. This one comes with the base unit, and it keeps comes with each of these modules. So you get the base unit, and you get the NES module, which is sixty dollars separately. Then you get the the SNES, the Mega Drive, Genesis one, and the Turbo Graphics PC Engine one. So all four of those are included in this one. This one is the same as that one, the the deluxe, but the Ultimate also comes with an extra controller. So if you bought this one, you would have a wireless controller, you would have an S controller, SNES controller, Genesis Mega Drive controller, Turbo Graphics PC Engine controller. So you've got five controllers. You've got a wireless one and then one for each of these systems. If you buy the ultimate one, they throw in an extra controller. You get an extra wireless controller and then you get an extra one of these. Now these actually, I, th I assumed that these were wireless, but I believe that they are wired. I'm, I'm not 100% sure of that. Because this one, that picture there shows you it wireless and that one shows you it with a cable. So, I believe, I don't know, maybe it's both. My my original assumption was that it was wireless. Um, hold on, right, okay. Put the power in your hands, plug directly to the controller ports located over a wire connection and offer improved ergonomics and plug polymega style. Um... Yeah, they plug directly into the controller ports. I was through by this first picture that didn't have the, the cable, but yeah, it looks like it's wired. So they all seem to be wired and use the original controller ports. What I think they, they could have done though um, is that, you know, on on these um, on these base units, it would have been good if they'd added, like, you know, they've got two controller ports there. It'd been good if they'd added three or four. You know, with the, with the original NES, you know, you had to buy like the the, the four player adapter, same with the SNES and all, um, the SNES and all that as well. I would have been good to have just seen them add that in, and for them that surely would have been better because it means people might have bought more controllers. So I think they kind of missed they missed out there. I think it would have been good if they had four ports there for four controllers so that people can play, um, you know, four player. As I was saying earlier on with the NES, now that I'm on this page, um. It's got North America and PAL, but not Japan. But they've missed out on the homepage as well, so I don't think that's a, a mistake. So I'll just quickly go through the base units and that, and, and the base unit and the, the 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 deals to show you what you get with them. So this is the base unit. This is the one that you need to buy if you want to attach the other modules. Um, and this will play. You can see Sega CD, Sega Saturn, Turbo Graphics CD, Neo Geo CD, PlayStation One. 
Now, it's got the variations here. Mega CD, which is what it's called in Europe and Japan. Sega Saturn's the same everywhere. PC Engine CD. Neo Geo CD. It's the same. Um, and then that's what you get. You get the base unit, the controller, the supply unit, the dust cover, experience guide, one year limited warranty. And install your games to your user interface and play play them with enhanced RGB and composite video filters, save states and improve load times. That's another important thing as well. Obviously, when you play the original games, you can't save your game. Uh, and that's very important because anyone who's ever played an older NES or Genesis game um, or Mega Drive game, you'll know that some of these games are brutal. They expect you to play for three or four hours then just leave the game on because there's no save point. So, yeah, that's important. But you, you, you would expect that in a modern interface. So that's $250. That's the base unit. Another $40 for a second controller. So that allows you to play all the CD-based systems. But if you want modules, this is the one you want. You will get one controller. And you can see you'll get the base unit and then you'll get each of these modules here. Four modules. But those ones, you will be limited to one controller. So that is something to note. And if you do want two controllers, if you have friends, it's always good to have a friend. So you can see that this one is the same as the last one. The difference is they're throwing in an extra controller. You get the extra wireless controller and then you get an extra controller for each of the retro cartridge systems. As I was saying earlier on, I do, re I do really like the fact that the Genesis Mega Drive module um, also plays 32X. That was a really nice addition, I think. So, yeah, all in all, all these cartridge-based systems here, or the cartridge-based module, sorry, um, they all come with five included games, which is pretty cool. Each of these are $60. And the controllers here, 25, 25, 25, and 25. I think they look good. But if you could pick up one of the original controllers, you might want to use th those instead. But, um, yeah, this seems to have, like, a button for the, the menu icon and all that as well. So, I assume this takes you to, like, the home page. So, yeah. Overall, I think it's pretty cool. I think it's a really interesting idea. Now, this isn't for everyone. This is, of course, not for everyone. Because, I mean, if you look, if you want this and you want to play all the games, and all, you know, you, you have all the, the controllers, $600, $460 there. Um, you know, if you want all the NES module, the Genesis module, etc. And $250 if you only wanted to play PlayStation 1 games, Sega Saturn games, Neo Geo, Sega CD, etc. Now, it, again, it is important to notice the price. This isn't cheap, but it's important to remember as well that in that niche, in that industry, most, you know, most of these kind of uh, retro gaming systems that play original cartridges and play, um, you know, with the original controllers, they are all quite expensive. And they do give you a lot of benefits over the original console, such as hooking it up to a modern television, uh, a wireless controller, which like, uh, you know, the one that's included there. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of benefits like that, save states, nice user interface and all that as well. So there's a lot of benefits to that. Um, but of course, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm kind of torn with these kind of things because I'm a retro gamer, but I don't go out and buy original cartridges that much. I've still got all the original cartridges, all the original games that I bought when I was growing up. But I've got a retro pie, and I generally use that if I want to play retro games rather than something like this. This really is for purists who want to play with the original cartridges, who want to play with the original controllers, and they want an authentic experience, but they want it in a modern console. Uh, and, you know, in a modern setup with the benefits of all that and, and hooking it to your television and all that. I think it's a really cool idea, though. Uh, and it is important to remember that you don't have to go out and buy the top package. If you just want to play the Sega Saturn, your old Sega Saturn is dead. You might want to just buy the base unit. Um, or maybe you want to, you know, add on the NES module later on. So you can mix and match and you can pick the systems that you want. Not everyone will want Turbo Graphics. Maybe you don't have games for that. Or maybe not everyone wants SNES or Mega Drive. So, yeah, there's a lot of pros and cons to it. I think it's a really cool system. I like what they're trying to do. And I like that there's companies like this keeping it alive. Time will tell what what the shop will be like. My guess is that some of the games will be quite expensive and you'd probably be cheaper just looking out the original cartridges um, for those. Um, and perhaps someone out there will hack the, this system and put on it, you know, if someone does hack this in the same way that, you know, P 
people have hacked other systems, like the the recent SNES Mini and all that, then this could be even better because now you've got a system that does have 9,000 games on it um, right off the bat. So, yeah, there you can see all the different modules there. 32X as well, remember? I think it's nice. It looks like a, a nice modern system. It looks pretty cool. But time will tell what this is actually like. So have a look at it, guys. Polymega.com. Have a look at the website. Let me know what you think about it. I thought this was quite cool. It's not for everyone. It is quite a niche thing, especially at the prices being thrown around. And, you know, people will obviously draw some comparisons to the Nintendo Switch and PS4 Pro and Xbox One and think, why don't I just buy a modern console? But this is more of a niche thing. And it really is for people who want to play with the original cartridges and the original controllers or at least the original style of controllers. So, yes, they will add an online shop, but I think most people who buy this will have a collection of games for each of those systems. So, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think about the Polymega. And um, if you like it, pre-order, and you should get it just after Christmas. Till next time, guys. Take care.